Muslims, jobs for Muslims, and that's another way of keeping a dollar bill in our already fragmented communities, in our split up, separated communities. We give our money, it's not about race, it's not about people or nation, better or worse, but we're just keeping it real. I mean, let's just be honest. If you drove to, this, to these people's neighborhoods, how many black businesses you gonna see? How many? What laundromats or barbershops or fast food joint? What, what, how, tell me how many, you're not gonna find no black businesses in this person, that person's neighborhood. Now you go to the middle, dead smack the middle of the hood, every other business is gonna be what? Korea, no doubt about it. From the drugstore to the fried chicken place to the, to, to the hair, the weave store, and the list goes on. Rather, you're going to find an entire block monopolied by one people. And like I said, it ain't a racial card thingy, but we're just being honest. The breakfast place is Korean. The weave place is what? Korean. The drugstore, oh my, Korean. They, if you go into a Kore Korean neighborhoods, you ain't gonna find Leroy and, and Shanene. You're not gonna find none of that. Nah, yeah, you're not gonna find none of that. You're not gonna find not one single restaurant or any place owned by someone except that they're what? Korean. Uh, and as a wise man once told me, he said, what? Years ago, he I don't remember this, but I remember it, right? It, it was downstairs on a, when the match was downstairs. He said, Shake, how they do it, man? They save up, one person get a store, they save up, huh? <laughs> You watch yourself, Shake. <laughs> Sahih? Am I making this up? But what do we do? So the concept of Muslims need insurance, right? It's lawful based off of a need and a necessity, right? So therefore, one could conclude and say it only makes sense for the Muslims to be involved in providing it. 